So last week we had the burger challenge and only Christy was able to eat, you know, their share of the burger and the rest of us. I was in so much pain, by the way. Like, I was in so much pain. The voters voted for punishments and they chose that we have to drink a half gallon of water now as punishment for our inability to eat the burger I'm last week. I'm actually really glad this challenge won or punishment won because I do get concerned about these two and their intake of water. <laughs> I don't even like water, it's what flavor is it? You need it to survive, it doesn't matter what the flavor is. Alrighty! This is because of you. Three, two, one, go. Dude, there's no way, guys. I know. I'm going to throw the water bottle. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to throw up. Gonna... Oh, my God. This is a bad idea. I'm going to throw up. I swear to God. Oh my god, I literally felt my stomach. <laughs> so, uh, it's not even gonna look one yet, people. I don't care about winning. I already lost. So did you. Hey, you know, there, Kenzie. Toodle. Is that good? All of the water. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Wow. Oh my gosh. Are you sure this is safe? It hurts! It hurts! Water it can't hurt. Hurts. It's clear. Mom, I'm sorry. Ha! Ah. 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 I can't do this. I'm a man! So yeah, I'm using science. I'm done! I have one full bottle Did left. You throw up? I am so on the cusp of throwing up. It's time to be a finisher, really? not a starter. You got this, Canyon. I'm drowning. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you're good. Canyon, are you gonna lose ever again? No. I'm never losing ever again. Make up, make a promise to the viewers right now. I promise you, viewers. All right. Today is uh, today's the Qantas Kids Expo. Organizations set up booths at this event to be able to reach out to the community and give people information about what it is that they're doing for kids and they're all there to communicate with people like us me specifically i want to be there and i want to talk to people about after school programs that Atkins might be able to attend or sports activities like aweso or little league or swimming or things like that that are available and there's also splash pad and uh, pools open we're gonna go there and do things and stuff and it's gonna be fun yeah we're at the we're at the 2019 Kiwanis Kids Expo. We're at the 2019... We're at the 2019 at the Kids Expo. Kiwanis Kids Expo. Kiwanis Kids Echo. Expo. Expo. I love that really much. Join us for soccer. You want to play soccer? Here. You can be in a camp and you can play in the league. All right, guys, I'm here with Toby Larson, the regional commissioner of AYSO Soccer. Toby, say hi. Hi. AYSO is a soccer league. Volunteer league and volunteer coaches, refs, and it's all about every kid plays and they have a good time and sportsmanship and then they start learning the game. So we'll start registration in a few weeks and then season starts the first or second week of September and okay. ends the second week in November. Hi, I'm Claire Adams and I am part of Bullhead City Little League. Um, our season has already started this year and we have 238 kids signed up for our 
2019 season. So right now we're spreading information for next year. Our first signups are December 7th at Winterfest. So come on down and sign up. We would love to have you. Play ball! <laughs> Hi, I'm Samantha McCormack. We're here for Unite for Literacy. We are handing away a hundred free books for ages three to six. If you sign up for our short survey or contact my mom, Jane McCormack, for 25 weeks, you get four free books each week until you get a hundred free books into your home. We are also uh, being sponsored by PBS and we're getting free workshops for parents on how to interact with your child while they're reading books or watching TV. Come and see us. Hi, I'm Ashley Bennett with the City of Bullhead City Recreation Division. We have some really great events coming up. The pool opening uh, for a recreational swim, and that starts April 5th, uh, Fridays and Saturdays. We also have our movies at the pool in June. One of our really cool events is our fishing derby, and that's coming up June 8th and 9th down at Rusty's Riviera Marina. And if you guys have an idea of an event that you guys want, call me at City Hall, ask for Ashley, and I will listen to what you guys want to see. The Boys and Girls Club is an amazing after school and summer program where we have structured activities and kids can come and not only have a good time but also learn a few things. Something that I personally have always strived for is stopping that stigma that there's nothing to do in town and I strive really hard for our club kids to be as independent and think of their community in a really positive way. We have four clubs in Fort Mojave, we have another club in Laughlin and then we have a club here in Bullhead. We also have a teen center which accepts sixth grade and older. We give them breakfast and lunch. We just put fun before anything else. Well, Kiwanis is a club dedicated to the children of the community. We do a lot of programs on the banner back there. We built the Splash Park. We are the sponsors of the free swimming lessons, a lot of community events, and we we're sponsoring this at Expo. Love to have more people get involved with it. If you want to come and visit, we meet at the Moose Club on Miracle Mile at 6.45 in the morning. Tuesdays, thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Devin. I'm with the Tri-State Youth Internship and Leadership Organization. We're starting a program here. It'll be through the summer, four to six weeks. It is a paid internship. We have lots of different opportunities in medical, dental, culinary. There's different in construction. So we do have a Facebook page with all of our information on there. Applications open from the 1st through the 15th, and then we'll be picking the students. And then there's a graduation at the end. So come and check us out. We are Ghost Light Children's Theater Company. We are a brand new theater company that is starting in association with the River City Community Theater Players, which is the community theater group here in town. They've been around for about nine years. We discovered that there was a big niche that's not being met for some of the middle age kids, the tweeners. So we're starting with the one week summer camp this summer. It's June 24th to the 28th and they will be able to come in. They're going to learn basic production skills basic acting. We're going to have all kinds of fun games and activities for them to do as well as they will be learning roles um, and producing an entire show in one week. Look us up. We're on Facebook. You can get us through the RCCTP website as well as Ghost Light Children's Theater Company on Facebook. So come see us. I'm doing track operations and there's a track in town. We do uh, beginner league programs and clinics there. It's right next to the Boys and Girls Club. I'm the new track operator there. My name is Turnell and um, and uh, you know I also do training there for kids. So uh, that's what I do there at that track. Every week we're there Thursdays and Fridays. We let these kids do circles around the track and burn some energy. All right, guys, that was the 2019 Bullhead City Morning Kiwanis Kids Expo. We had a blast, and we learned a lot of things, and we hope you learned a lot and enjoyed this episode as well. kenya has got a message for you that he wants you to know. Listen up. We are 13 subscribers away from hitting 100 subscribers. If we hit the 100 subscriber number, 100, we will make a 100 subscriber special music video just for you. Viewers Whoa. Like You was a huge hit success, and so we're going to bring our talents back, and this time we will spend a ton of time working on it and making it good for you guys. So hit the subscribe button. Make sure to leave a like, comment. You guys may just be seeing a 100 subscriber special video very soon. Tell your friends to subscribe. And share it around with the world. We all know you love us. All of our people. We love you. That's right. We love you. I love you, Mom. Next week.